or perhaps from those who can think for themselves and recognize the true enemy here. Bishop. My debt to you is over, Knight Captain, and I've been waiting for this, as I'm sure you have too. It could have worked out differently, but I don't really have that much respect for you, or your uncle for that matter. I could care less. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever. And of course, your uncle aside, I don't like the way you seem to cast your lot in with the Paladin every chance you get. But it doesn't matter so much anymore. All acts carry a price, Bishop. And this betrayal will cost you much. Standing on the losing side's going to cost you your life. You were never a true leader, even with the ritual and the sword of Gith at your side. Do you think all your companions who follow you would follow you to death? I think not. I would give my life and more for him. Know that the choice is a simple one, Garius. If you fight us, you fight us all. Ah, of course. But let us ask each in turn, and we shall see the truth of it. And dear Nishka, let us start with her. Just to drive the blade home. What? Nishka! I tortured her, it is true. But cutting open your fiendling ally reveals some interesting truths beneath the skin. Wherever she goes, demons dog her footsteps and lie in her path. Zaxis, Mephasm, and I think it is more than coincidence. Lower Plains blood draws Lower plain blood, and the stronger the ties, the stronger the pull. Uh, two? Two, yeah. You'll pay. Your half-demon companion has just the right touch of demon blood in her veins to make some ancient ill fawn binding spells take root. Provided you shed enough of the owner's blood and the stones of this fortress, of course. She must have a most unusual heritage for her blood even as thinned as it is, to carry such power. And once she ran out of scream, she learned to obey. Didn't you, my dear? You'll see the hell soon enough, Garius. I promise you. Don't struggle over much against the binding tiefling. Save your energy for the battle to come. And really, I think the execution of this irritating night captain is a small price for your freedom. The alternative is much worse, I assure you. I am so, so sorry. But I... have to do it! It's like the weight of this whole fortress is pushing down on me, all of Ilfarn all at once. Hmm. hmm. One or something? <laughs> yeah. We need you, Niska. Come on, Fiendling. I... I can't do this. I won't do this. By the hells, I'm not going to turn on the one person who showed me kindness. And if it costs my life, so be it. You will pay the price for your disobedience shortly. But there are others who even now question their loyalty. San, I know you studied at the Hostower, and what relics you saw there are nothing compared to the ones that lie here. The secrets of ancient Ilfarn, the power you seek is here, and I can allow you to rectify certain inequities. Forgive me all. But this girl you have sought to protect, she's an even greater threat than the one we face now. It is the lesser of two evils, and she must be stopped. Somehow, your cowardice doesn't surprise me, Sand. Hope you're ready to face what it means because you're not leaving alive. And Quara, the power you have. Imagine if it was increased threefold, tenfold, a hundredfold, without limit, without restraint. All the chiding and lessons and lies of the Academy and your father would be nothing against such power. I mean, truly. What more is there to learn from the people of Neverwinter? 
Not much, I think. Their time on this plane is done. And have your companions offered you any insights? Or simply more hostility? It sounds to me as if they are simply another academy of narrow-minded fools one needs to separate yourself from. Carve your own path, my dear, and I will show you the way. Sand stands with you, and so I'll stay where I am. Trust me, he makes bad decisions all the time, and this is the last. Oh, one last thing. Thanks so much, Grobnar, for giving me the command word for your golem friend there. I think I can make use of it. Wait! What are you doing? Stop! You don't command it anymore, Gnome. It's mine now. You've seen it tear into opponents, but that's nothing compared to what it's going to do to your friends. No! I- No, what? You don't have the strength, Grobnar. He's... <sighs> He's right. He's got full control of it now. I wish I deactivated that whirlwind sword hinge and the spell-resistant wards first. He's going to be almost unstoppable. And Amanjero. History can be rewritten this hour. Your allegiances need not remain. There is so much pain that can be undone by my lord. All those wasted decades. They need not have been in vain. The contracts with the infernal legions that bind you with enough power, those are easily broken. As for the Githyanki, we can take the battle to them as well. You need never fear either group again. And your dear Chandra, she need not remain dead. We can return her to you, and her life that you missed. You can come to know her again. You could promise all that and more, Garius, but for all your empty promises, I have seen the one I follow accomplish so much more. And Garius, for mentioning Chandra to me, I shall enjoy watching you die. I see you have deprived many of your so-called companions of even the most basic equipment, as if you knew they might betray you. Nice You're try, but there. ultimately futile. Forgive me. What? Just a small precaution to shield the portal from the bloodshed to come. After all, the King of Shadows is almost here. Too bad you won't be alive to witness it. Okie dokie, just see here. What are we... Alright. I'll go take out sand. Oh, everybody wants to take out sand. Ambition. Oh, you can actually cast through that. Oh, cool. Apparently you can. Valor is there as well? Okay. I'll take care of this shadow bullet. Ah, something keeps spawning enemies. Not cool. Hot strikes down. Sand, you're going next. That's it for me. Yeah, run and die. Ah, okay, so everybody's just split into their own fighting arena. Wow, whoever cost that, that fucking hurts. Oh my goodness, that's a problem. Yeah, because it's not just Grobnar versus Ballar. <laughs> Which, um... Yeah. Yeah, this this room lost. 
see if I can respawn on Thoris real quick. So, um, it's you against Black Areas. And Balor is still alive. Just a second. Or a couple of more. <laughs> Yourself? Yeah. I am. You might want to step out of the poison cloud. Just a second. Assuming he follows. I mean, I can try and respawn. See no, don't can... try and do that. Why not? Because I'm trying to resurrect you. Oh. Well, why? I, I, unless I get full health. I can't really do too much. Oh. Okay. Just second then. Where is? I mean, this side pretty much had all costers, so that wasn't too helpful. Maybe if you can resurrect Kazavir, he can finish off Balor. Kelgar, Nishka, and Eleni, the dream team. against Nishka? Wow. That is kind of pathetic. Wow, my frame rate just dipped. Mine's been fine. Oh, mine's fine again. Times you have to kill this guy. Oh wait, you need to read his true name. That makes sense. So you're gonna have to get someone in my little. Actually, can you just revive me? Or actually, just get Shavy, Shavy or Amanjaro. One of them just needs to read the name. Why did they or choose not. to side with him? It makes no there sense. We go. But they were our friends. And now we've lost them. Like we lost Chandra.